The bridging technique that we demonstrated is extremely useful to get out of a myriad situations, not just when somebody's mounting you. So it's worth just spending a few seconds at looking at some of the finer points of the bridge without the sort of noise of another person around it. So, as I go down. The aim of the bridge is to get my hips as high as they can because this raises the centre of gravity of the person the less stable they become. So, I bring my feet as close to my butt as possible because this enables me to get height of the hips. The further away they are, the less high my hips go. If I really want to lift, I can come up on my toes to become even higher. So that's going to move the person up. But also, I don't want just to move them up because they're going to fall on top of me. I need to move them to a side. So, I move up and roll onto one shoulder. And what I liken it to is in football or soccer, when somebody's actually a goalkeeper is trying to make a save and they dive out for the ball in a corner, that's the kind of motion you want. So I want as I lift to be reaching out and directing everything in one direction. And this is a key element to bridging.